Welcome to Ninja Movie Reviews. This time we will be reviewing 127 hours, giving you our thoughts on Empire of the Sun, and telling you our favorite Man vs. Nature films. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? This time we'll be reviewing 127 hours, and we have with us guest reviewer Tristan Hellman, all the way from Montana, came over here just to be with us to review 127 hours. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. Good movie. It's a real story, so therefore it really can't be spoiled. Aaron Ralston is a hiker. He goes on a hike by himself into this canyon. He falls, he gets his arm pinned with a rock. He spends 127 hours down there and he decides at the end, in order to survive, he has to cut his own arm off. Knowing that kind of stuff, it did not take away. I thought that it actually added to the story. Because- you're sitting there and you're like, when's it gonna happen? When's he gonna do it? Not only that, but I thought that uh, there's, there's parts where he's like trying to chip away at the rock with the knife and I'm like, oh man, you're gonna regret doing that later. <laughs> Because I knew wait, he's going to have wasting all that energy? No, but that he dulled his knife. Mm. Or it could have been, I suppose, maybe less painful if he had a sharper knife. He wouldn't have to use the smaller part of yeah. the... Yeah. Oh, that like little teeny one? Yeah. yeah. Mm. At first I thought that was like the can opener. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are you <laughs> yeah. doing? I thought, that's what I thought it was too. I was like, this isn't going to work. Oh, that would not... That, that, oh. Even even the part, even when he cuts off his arm, that really could have been a lot more gruesome, a lot more... Oh, yes gory than what it was it cuts away to his face and to the canyon and all that kind of stuff where but it, it could have been like bleh, bleh. it could have mm, really showed a does. lot more it, it it did show a good amount it actually showed more than i thought it was going yeah, to. It, yeah, show, yeah it, it showed more than i was expecting i mean I, huh. I heard that it was gruesome and that you know it was going to be bloody but um I think they could have showed a lot more, but there I was think more than have. what I was expecting. There you was more they, than what I was. I think expecting if you have too. a weak, I think if you have a super weak a stomach, than then, I was expecting. then it might be a little bit really? too much. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. I don't know. It's pretty crazy to me because it feels like like 127 hours. Like this movie could have felt so long. It could have felt drag. Yeah, it could have really dragged. It felt it, so. It, it felt was brisk. It, it felt it, it felt almost too short. Well, it, it was it was. It's also because we've been used to lately. Watching two-hour films. Oh, that's true. That is true. Uh, it seems a lot of filmmakers do not know how to cut the fat around yeah. their films. Well, how long and was this film? This is an hour and a half. Hour and a half. It was really, really? nice. I liked it. I liked it being an hour and a half. And huh. just, it felt like it went by. Yeah, well, it did. There, really wasn't, nice. there it wasn't did. really a whole lot to explain. Not having a lot to explain, though, has not kept other filmmakers from making two-hour films. <laughs> oh, I know. So <laughs> I know. It Besides reminded that. me of Slumdog Millionaire. Really? It uh, did. Why? Just like the type of editing, the okay. flashbacks, yeah. the style, the style, yeah. It was a lot of style in this. Yeah, there was, and it reminded me of and constant flashbacks to memories that reminded him. And I guess he had that premonition of seeing his future son. Yes, was that was that supposed mm. to be? Yes, it's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. But it was it was the son apparently at the end that finally gave him that. Yeah. Push. That oomph. Yeah. To... Do what you needed to do. Seems like. That this film would be more adept to having life is worth living kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. story behind it, but that we need each other is very interesting to come out with. That is, that's a very good point. There's that's always a, a reason to keep going, like keep going ahead, reason to live, reason to, you know, continue on with the future. 
And I guess there you go. I didn't even think of that. But if, if life is worth living, why is life worth living because of the people around us? Hmm. And it took a tragedy like him being stuck for 127 hours yeah. to realize just how much everybody means to And him. I really love that as he leaves with when he sees his arm is there mm -hmm. he like turns to the rock and he says thank you mm -hmm. I, was, I was like ah oh, that's that gets mm -hmm. you Ooh. Uh, if you agree or disagree with this review please send us an email if you have your own stories of survival send us an email if you have a recipe you want to share send us an email at ninja movie reviews at gmail.com we love emails Mamma movie review. Mamma movie review. <laughs>the next film in our unknown Spielberg marathon Empire of the Sun Tim what did you think of it it was good I liked it how did you like it uh, last week you said that the color purple felt long this one felt long really I really thought this one could have been cut down what I thought he was trying to get at was a loss of innocence, and there were a lot of different sidetracks that he took that I thought could have really been pared down so that it would have made a, a smoother film. Wow, really? The film last week felt a lot longer than really? this one. Really? Yeah. I didn't think so. To me, the best part of this was watching a very young uh, Christian Bale. I thought he was superb. In this at, role. At first he really annoyed me, but then he came in and I really started to like him. And you're right, he did a superb acting job. There are certain attributes to a director that are attributed. Right. right. Um, usually Spielberg is attributed to storytelling, to dreams, to childhood, that kind of stuff. Hmm. But I'm really surprised that no one has ever said that Spielberg equals World War II films. Because, honestly, okay, so we had 1941 was his first one. Uh, all three of the original Indiana Jones films, all in World War II. Huh, that's a good point. Uh, we have Schindler's List, we have Saving World Private War. Ryan, we have this one. There's, he likes World War II. Um, it's also really interesting because uh, with this film, watching this film, seeing where he came from in order to do uh, Schindler's List, this film was... Instead of the Jews being imprisoned by the Germans, it was the English and Americans being imprisoned by the Japanese. Um, so there was a lot of imagery, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of imagery. texture that was very similar to Schindler's List. Mm. The difference between the haves and the have-nots. There's something else that I was noticing as well, and especially going through this this uh, little marathon of ours, mm -hmm. it appears to me that if Spielberg gets a good script, mm -hmm. he'll make a great film. If he gets an average script, he'll make a good film. If he gets a bad script, he'll make an all right film. He's kind of locked into whatever mm -hmm. script he gets. What do you think? I'm going to have to agree with you now. You okay. talked me over. <laughs> That's a very good point. You're right. It does seem his uh, bad movies do have a horrible story. I would agree with you. Amen. Woo! If you would like to follow along, next time we will be reviewing Always. And now a quick fix with Marco Duran. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new film called Monsters. It is another film like District 9, like Cloverfield. The film portrays what would Earth be like 
if aliens were among us. I particularly really like this type of film. I liked Monsters more than I like Cloverfield, more than I like District 9. However, I don't think it was a great film. And I can't wait until someone puts out a great film like this. Um, the film was done mostly in improv with the two main actor, actor, actress, and uh, sometimes that shows. Sometimes that you can see where the cracks were, where they were kind of making stuff up, that they didn't really have a story to follow, they didn't have an outline. Um, and also sometimes because the film was so low budget, you felt that there needed to be more attacks, more threatening by the aliens and that they were held back because of their lack of funds. So maybe so, maybe this director with a bigger budget could make a great Aliens Among Us film. Um, and I'm still waiting, I'm still holding my breath to for that one great film to come out. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances one. What? That was a quick fix with Marco Duran. What? There are people in this world who go looking for adventure. My pick for this week was directed by Sean Penn and scored by Eddie Vedder. It stars Emile Hirsch, William Hurt, Marcia Gay Harden, Vince Vaughn, Kristen Stewart, and a Oscar-nominated turn by Hal Holbrook. It is the true story of Christopher McCandless, a well-to-do young man who gives it all up to hitchhike his way up to Alaska. It's the tragic tale of someone who tries really hard to find out who he is, just to discover in the end that he's no further along. My pick is Into the Wild. something in life, be John Graham. My pick is directed by Steven Spielberg, and it stars Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, and Richard Attenborough. This is my favorite Man vs. Wild film, because it puts man against the most ultimate wild. Freaking dinosaurs. This movie is a classic, and I really suggest you see it. My movie pick is Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Please send us your favorite man versus nature film to ninja movie reviews at gmail.com. Until next time. I'll catch you on the flip side. Hasta la vista, baby. Don't say goodbye. Say good journey. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. But he's looking at you. Good journey. Good night and good luck. <laughs> <laughs>